M0FXB, welcome to my channel and we're looking at the D300 DMR VHF UHF radio by Wurui. So we're looking at the programming software and USB driver. So go to this link here and click D300 program and driver. Okay, then click download and you'll have this zip here. Within this zip you have the CPS programming software at the top and underneath that you have the USB driver. So you may as well down, download both. You've got the CH341 and the PL2303. Just double click and you have a file that you can download. Okay. Let's remove that. And so now we'll go to the programming software. And again, you have a zip. Just double click DR380 and, and run that. I'm going to say no because we've already got it. And let's have a look at the, the what it looks like. So this is the window you will get. Once you've got this, then I would go to, when you read the radio using the USB uh, connector, you will have the basic information here, but we haven't got the radio. So then we'll go to settings, and within the settings, you're going to need to put in your DMR number here. So I've already put my DMR number in here, and we selected English as well. The rest seems okay for now. There are settings that you can change, but for now we'll leave that. Next thing you need to do is make sure you've got some contacts. So go to contacts. Contacts are your DMR numbers or groups that you're going to join. So to create a new contact, I've put nine, which is a local, 91, which is worldwide. So we can actually name these contacts like so. Worldwide. Contact alias here is local. So this is the name. 4000 is disconnect. And so on and so on. So to add a contact, you just click add here. And then you can decide if you want to add uh, a private one as well. So click add. And then you're going to name it. So we'll call it um, chat, for example. We don't need to put the address, but you do need the number. The number is very important. 2350 is chat. Okay, so you've got some contacts there. Next thing is some channels. And so we're going to put in our hotspot, which is here, which is 431.550. We don't need a shift because it's not a repeater. But if it's a repeater, you need to select a shift or select the input and output frequency. Then you've got digital or analog here. We'll do digital for my hotspot. And then click the arrows here. And then you get this window. And in here, you can give the name of the channel, which is hotspot. For me, put in your receive and transmit frequency. Uh, let's have a look at timeout. You want to set that to about 180. Digital. That all looks fine. And then we'll do, quite common, we use slot 2 and color code 1 for hotspots or color code 3 normally for repeaters. And then you want to select your contact. Otherwise, it won't use it. So there's your contacts there that you've created. You create as many contacts as you want. The bandwidth, you don't have to do that now. So that's it. And the next thing we're going to do is put it into a zone. So let's fight. Let's go to our zone now because all channels have to go into a zone, otherwise, you can't find them. So go to zone here on the left, double click zone, close this window, double click zone, and let's name a zone. The next we'll call it my hotspot. Okay, we've got a zone, and now we're going to add some channels into that zone. So let's have a look. Available. Selected channels. Double click. Trying to find the zones now. Zone information. Contacts receive. There's your channels. Zone alias. Why are we not seeing any channels? Is it because we're not reading the radio? 